basically i am talking about linear momentum linear momentum means motion in straight line this is linear momentum right now so what what do you mean by momentum so i can say a quantity of motion is called momentum and one more thing on what factors factors on which momentum depends so there are two factors on which momentum depends so i will take an example first to explain right so suppose this is u okay and there is a ball and there is a another ball right mass is same let us say it is 5 kg let us say it is 5 kg ball right but the velocity is different so what i am doing is i am throwing this ball on you with a velocity of 10 meter per second and i am throwing another ball with a velocity of 5 meter per second okay remember the mass of both the bodies are both the balls are same now can you tell me which is easier to stop the ball with the more velocity and the ball which is at the less velocity which will be easier to stop for you obviously the ball with the less velocity okay so i can say that if velocity is more then quantity of motion is more that means i can say that momentum is more and if velocity is less then quantity of motion is less and that's why i can say momentum is less right so this is the first example same mass but velocity different so what is the first factor on which the momentum depends it is velocity right now i will take in another example okay now in this case again this is u and there are two balls but now this ball is 5 kg and this ball is 10 kg so basically mass is different but velocity is same okay so that means i am throwing this ball with 10 meter per second and i am throwing this ball with 10 meter per second so there is same velocity but the 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 mass is different now can you tell me which ball is easier to stop the the ball with the 5 kg weight or the ball with the 10 kg weight obviously the ball with the 5 kg weight will be easier to stop so what i what i can say that so if mass is less that means quantity of motion is less and momentum is less and if mass is more that means quantity of motion 
is more and momentum is more right so so what is the another factor on which the momentum depends it is mass so there are two factors on which the quantity momentum depends that is velocity and another one is mass right so can i write it the another definition of momentum so can i write it the product of mass and velocity is called momentum right or can i write momentum equals to mass into velocity right so momentum <coughs> momentum is denoted by p mass you all know mass into v is this one now can i write it like this the vector sign so this is the vector sign right that means momentum is a vector quantity mass you all know it's a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity so the product will also be the vector quantity right so this is the formula of momentum now what will be the direction of momentum so basically whatever will be the direction of velocity that will be the direction of momentum right suppose i am throwing a ball in this direction with velocity v so my momentum will also be in this direction right suppose i am throwing a ball in a downwards direction with a velocity v so my momentum will be in the downward direction right and suppose i am throwing a ball in a upward direction with a velocity v so my momentum will also be in upward direction so momentum is always in the direction of velocity okay remember this property also okay now can i calculate the si unit of momentum okay so p equals to m into v so what is m it is kilogram and what is velocity it is meter per second so can i write it kilogram meter second inverse right so this is the si unit of momentum okay now there is another derivation momentum in terms of newton's second law of motion okay so you all know what is second law of motion f equals to ma this is newton's second law right and what is momentum p equals to m into v right for this equation can i write f equals to mass and what is acceleration rate of change of velocity over time so can i write it vf minus vi over 
time. Can I write it like this? So, because rate of change of velocity, that is V final minus V initial over time. Can I write it multiplying M Vf minus M Vi over T? Can I write it like this? Or what is mass into velocity? It is momentum. So, it is P minus P. But this is final velocity, so I will write Pf and this is initial velocity, so I will write Pi over T. So, this is my force or can I write it F equals to delta P over T. So, this is my force, rate of change of momentum over time. So, can I, can I write the definition of force in terms of momentum? <coughs> it is the rate of change of linear momentum 